had no idea they were driving right into floodwaters. Several weeks after the tragic drowning of five-year-old Alyssa Lehman and 52-year-old Esther Conde, the city of St. Hedwig is looking to add more city staff that would help get barriers up to stop people from driving down flooded roads like these. The night team's John Paul Barajas with the decision being made during that meeting. He joins us live. So John Paul, what was actually decided there tonight? Steve, the St. Hedwig City Council gave the green light to hire a supervisor maintenance employee. It's a brand new position for the city. It's a full time position and they hope it adds much needed manpower because the mayor here, Mayor D. Grimm, says prior to tonight's event and meeting, they only had two part time city maintenance employees. Now, the new hire is set to start this upcoming week, and this is a position that they've been trying to fill for the last six weeks at least. They also want to add more city employees in the near future to try and prevent tragedies like that of October 14th when two cars drove into flooded or a flooded road where they were swept away leading to the deaths of five-year-old Alyssa Lehman and 52-year-old Esther Conde. We asked the mayor about any potential safety measures in place the day of the drownings. Were there barriers set up at that time? Do you know if those barriers before the cars went down that road, Breakdown Road? I, at this point in time that incident is still under investigation so I'm not at liberty to discuss that. The Bear County Sheriff has said he didn't believe those barriers were up at the time. Residents in attendance at tonight's meeting made it clear regardless of the investigation, they want more safety measures in place at the creek that runs through Greytown Road. I'm, I'm heartbroken just like the rest of our residents here. I don't want to ever see that happen again. And, and I do understand there's challenges budget-wise uh, to, to try to get different things done, but I'd ask that the council move forward quickly with uh, measures at the intersection in question there. The mayor says that she'll be trying to balance the public safety as well as making sure they don't go over budget. And as soon as more information comes out about the investigation into those road barriers, we'll let you know. At St. Hedwig City Hall, John Paul Barajas, KSAT 12 News.